Jeet Khan and this is screencast we are going to see how to parse HTTP status code or any log file using cut command so uh, the log I am considering uh, is of this type the domain is here the IP is here and if data is not available a hyphen is there and some details are there like it was a get request and uh, the page requested was status.html HTTP protocol was used and the status code was 200 OK. So I'll be going through a log file which is this file. And if you see the content, uh, it is the same which I show you just now. The domain, the IP, if data is not there, hyphen is there. The requested URI and the protocol in the status code. So will be using cut command to see uh, to get the required result for the status code so uh, get all the status code like 200 which request shows 200 status code like that so like next command uh, cut is used for text processing you can use this command to extract portion of text from a file or by selecting columns or fields so um, the column uh, here are referred by f hyphen f and the column number or the field number so suppose i want to get all the tenth uh, all the text of tenth column then i'll be using hyphen f 10 so in the tenth column in this example we have the status code let's check it out see this is the first field and the delimiter here is a space this is the second, third one, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one is nine, and here is the tenth field. So we will be passing this. Let's start. So we'll be using cat command to display all the content, then we will filter it with the cut command. Uh, and we will be we are specifying that we want space as a delimiter and the tenth column so let's run in it run it and get the output see we have got all the status code in that file 200 200 404 which stands for no, uh, not found and so on so it has listed all the status code uh, the output is also been published on my blog okay uh, so as you can see here the status code is not sorted 200 is there then uh, there is a 502 then there is 304 then again 200 so it's not yet sorted so let's sort it just apply a sort flag and you can see the output is sorted now all the status code uh, with 200 is on the top then all the kind of status code then 40 and then 50 so it's sorted now now we want uh, like how many uh, how many status code uh, like uh, what was the count of 200 status code what is the count of 404 status code so we can get that by applying another filter unique so let's apply it and see the result here we go so 200 uh, status code uh, was count uh, was counting 39 and uh, there was one status code with 302 and two with 304 and so on so as you can see um, it sorted again on the basis of the status code and not on the basis of count so if you want to sort it on the basis of count then you need to again apply the sort filter let's apply it see it's again sorted but this time it is sorted on the basis of count so one is on the top so it's in the increasing order uh, what if you want to sort it uh, in the decreasing order then you need to apply minus r flag and see it's sorted in the decreasing order let's go ahead 
now suppose uh, as we have seen we have simply counted the status code and their count but what if you want to uh, know uh, which request URI sends a 20, uh, 200 status code or a 404 status code so you can print out uh, multiple columns multiple fields with the corresponding status code and their count so let's go ahead so here is the command uh, echo the content or cat the content of the file then apply the cut command with space delimiter and uh, now here we, we are specifying multiple columns so in the 8th column there is uh, the request URI or the requ uh, requested page and in the 10th column HTTP, uh, HTTP code is there and we are again sorting it out so let's run this command and see the output so uh, there was 200 status code for uh, there were no request URI and for this request URI we got 200 status code and for this one we got 304 status code and so on so uh, we have got uh, which request gives which status code now let's again filter this out now we want to count uh, how many to 200 status code was there for a particular request URI so again you can apply the unique filter and here there were 200 uh, status code with no request URI and the count was 9 and similarly you can see the count for other request URI with their corresponding status code uh, so if, uh, the point here to note is say for this particular URI there were 3 uh, count which sends to 200 status code but for the same URI there was one count which sent 404 so it counts all the unique combination of status code and the request URI or whatever the column we are choosing so that's all for this video tutorial I hope you liked it uh, to see the specific commands you can uh, check out my blog z-fp.blogspot.in thanks for watching